Hey guys, this is Tuts and she's here. As I promised in my last video, I will be showing you how to get these cool pictures onto your background, your GIMP background. Uh, I showed you how to make the GIMP background in my other video. If you haven't watched that video yet, then I assume you know how to make a GIMP background. So once you've done that, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop CS5. And if you don't know how to get that, I will put a download link to get it free in the description. Okay, so open Adobe Photoshop. Okay. Okay, now, once you've opened that, you're going to go to File in the upper left, Open, and you're going to open y the background you would wish to edit. So I will continue with the one I created with you guys last time. So after you have that, you're going to go on the internet and find a picture you would like to insert into your background. So once you've done that, you're going to go to up to File again, Open again, and find that picture. Find that picture, go to recent places, and if you downloaded it with Google Chrome, go to downloads and find your picture. If you didn't use Google Chrome, then just find it in your pictures, which it should be in there. So, these are some cool ones right here that I found. So, I guess MW3 Conic Six CCXR Special Editions. So, I'm going to go ahead and add this one. So, what you're going to do is double click on that, and it should open. See how it opens in a new tab? Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to that, and you're going to, in the upper, well, sort of upper left corner, you're going to click on the box, and you're going to drag that box around your picture, and then press Control-C, which if you don't know what that does, it's Control-Copy. So, and then Control-V once you get back to your other picture, and it'll paste it there. Now to move it, simply go up here, right above where you, where you just got the box tool, and you can move it. Now, if you would wish, if you wish to like make it bigger, press Control T, and a box will surround it with resize tools, and that's how you resize it. You can add as many of these pictures like this as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and add another picture. So again, go back to open, find your picture, I'm just going to add this headshot icon, and I'm going to, again, box around it, by simply clicking and dragging if you don't know how to do that, and control C, going back to my other picture, control V, and there it is. Now I'm going to move it into a convenient location. And I think I'll make this one a little bit bigger. So just like I showed you, make it bigger. And that's basically the easiest way to add stuff. Now if you would, do not wish to use Photoshop, I believe you can use other editing softwares, but I'm not certain. So... I prefer using it for using Photoshop. Photoshop's an amazing software and it's easy to use. So I hope you liked the video. Oh and in case you didn't know, it's the same way to to make it a uh, background again. All you do is file, save as and apply the transformations before saving, apply and just save it as the picture again. Wait, this time it actually is different. So when you do save as, make sure the format is not Photoshop and that it is JPEG, um, or it will not work to be a background. Then save it. Okay, because I would like to replace it. And then quality, the maximum quality this time is 12. I put it on 12 because frankly I like the best quality. And then you can do maximum, medium, high, low. So, yeah, click OK. 
exit out of Photoshop at your will. Save changes. And actually, I already saved. I don't want to wait. What you doing? But no, actually, I don't need to save. Cute. I'm just gonna minimize it. Make sure that worked. Okay, I'm going to go search it. Okay, there it is. And that's it. Right click, set as desktop background. I'm not gonna set it as desktop background because I like this one better because it has a conic set. Now, to tilt this, you actually do use GIMP this time. And you go into GIMP. Wait for it to load here. And. Da -da -da -da. Okay, it's loaded. Now you enter your picture. All you can do is while you're doing your picture. And mine isn't. Mine isn't here. Oh yeah, it is right there. Okay. And to tilt it, what you would do is you when you create the text box, uh, you would. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just create a new one because I don't want to mess this one up. So yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm just gonna exit out of this one. Okay. So to do. Okay, when you do your text box, just. Let me just create it real quick. Okay, now that I have a text box, box, all you're gonna do is you're going to go up to here where it says rotate, and you click on it, and you can rotate it as much as you want. And then, yes, it does seem like the letters are overlapping, but as soon as you click rotate, it'll turn over. So that's how if you were to do a mirror image or something like, it, so it would be like someone. Or, yeah, if someone, like a person, was looking into water, and they simply, you wanted to make it better, and you made a reflection, that's how you would make a reflection. So, or you use rotate, you press rotate again, and you can tilt it. So, there's how to tilt it. And then to move it. All you do is, I believe there should be a move tool right there, and you click on it. Wait, no, maybe that's not the move tool. It's not the move tool, never mind. Um, the move tool is actually the rotate tool. So if you click on rotate, you'll see this little thing there, and you can move it with that. Yeah, so, or you can move it with this. It really doesn't matter. You see, click rotate, it'll move. So, again, click on it. You move these. And they move pretty slowly, I do admit. And then you just click rotate. I didn't move that much, so it didn't move very much. But that's all you do. I believe you can just move this too. And then click rotate, and it'll move a little. Yeah. But I don't really, I'm not the best at moving it. Actually, no, here's the move tool. No, it's not the move tool. Move the whole screen. I don't know how to move just oh there I got it. I got it. There's how you move it. Click on this one up here, it's the four it looks like the um uh what's that called? What's the math term? Um Pythic I don't know what the frick, I hate math. It's just looks like a cross and then you just click on it and you can move it. You can move the background or if you click on a letter you can move that text box. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.